Hey guys, what is up? Mikey Lakers Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. All right, so let's talk about this game. Yes, it happened. Uh, we lost. Um, unfortunately, we're not going 80 and 2. Uh, we lose our third game of the season. Lose to the Dallas Mavericks 114 to 100. Um, what can we say? Um, we got spanked. We got blown out. We got whooped. All that stuff. To be honest with you, when you look at this game, um, this game started off the way I wanted it to the first two quarters. It started off good, close. What I thought going into this game was keep the game close and then kind of pull away at the end. I didn't even think we would blow this team out, um, to be honest with you, So, because they're a bona fide. Dallas is a bona fide um, playoff team. Coming in 12-6, and six, um, we're 17-2, and two, but our record really comparing to who we played we haven't played these tough playoff games, playoff teams yet. And Dallas coming in, I didn't think we would blow them out. I just thought we need to start the game off tight, consistent, or at least tough, unlike when we go against some of these other weaker teams. And we actually started off really well. The first two quarters was tight. I think the um, late second quarter got away from us, but we were right there. It was like 64, 63 um, going into the halftime, and then we lose it in the third quarter. Um, couldn't find a bucket. They hit several big shots, went up by 15. And uh, from there, it was like an uh, uphill battle. And I kind of felt it was, it was going to away from us. Um, defensively, we didn't have it. Um, it just seems like LeBron James and AD kind of ran out of gas in the third quarter. They were carrying us the whole game. We weren't getting any help from anybody. And um, Dallas was playing with house money. They were just playing loose. They weren't they weren't hesitant. They were driving, kicking out, hitting threes, and we just wasn't in the flow. They were playing with house money, didn't have anything to lose coming in, playing against us, and we were playing too tight in that third quarter. So the first quarter, second quarter, really, we kind of played the way I thought. Yes, we were, I think we were down by one going into the half, but they are a tough team. I didn't expect us to be up big or whatnot, but being close... Basically, we just lost it in that third quarter. And then from there, we tried to make a run, came back. I think it was down by 10. And uh, they hit a few more big shots. And we just had too many loose balls, um, turnovers, careless turnovers around the rim, even with AD, LeBron James, like Rondo, uh, Kuzma, any, every, uh, KCP. Um, everybody around the rim just seemed to... So many loose balls. How many turnovers did we have? We had 17, 17 turnovers. Um, I felt we had way more than that, but it was just one of those games. Yes, it's only one game. It's only one game, so we're not going to go all crazy. Um, bound to happen. This is one of those games where, like, when Phil Jackson used to coach and, and we had those, those championship-winning teams, he was like, you know, the team deserves this. It kind of, like, wakes you up a little bit. And did we want this to happen going on the road? No. Could it have come in Denver or something like that? That would have been more understandable because that's on the road. Um, going up against a good, tough playoff team, I would have taken that. But games like this at home, you definitely want to win your home games. But we are a tough veteran team. And a tough veteran team, really good, tough, top-tier team of the NBA should bounce back. So I look for the Lakers to get it together and come out even stronger on the road, going up against Denver, and then going up against Utah. If we go to Denver, if we go to Utah, and we fold those two games, now you start talking, and you start talking, okay, what did we do wrong? How do we get back on track here? We got one tough loss against a team that was playing basically free. We were playing tight, and they were, you know, they're a good, tough playoff team. They're tall. They can rebound. They can, they have some length there and um lebron and ad didn't get any help i mean this game even though kuzma wasn't the guy i mean he's my pet peeve of all i mean who else is there besides anthony davis and lebron james kuzma is supposed to be that guy and right now he's nowhere to be found i mean you can't rely i mean you could say kcp is better than kuzma right now but you can't rely on kcp to be that guy danny green is going to be danny green javel mcgee is JaVale McGee. Dwight Howard is just does what he does, right? Off that guy off the bench. Rondo is whatever, right? He's going to be hit or miss. But Kuzma needs to be that guy 
that third scorer. Who's that third scorer for us? Yeah, Caruso is going to be Caruso. He's going to do his, do his thing and kind of help out on defensive end and do some things off the bench. But who's that third scorer? That needs to be Kuzma. And right now, Kuzma's nowhere to be found. Basically, you see guys kind of brushing him off. They don't even look at Kuzma anymore sometimes. Like, he's not even, he's not even a, a go-to guy. And it's almost better sometimes when Kuzma not even on the floor. That's how bad Kuzma is. So keep, put that in perspective. You got a guy that's supposed to be potentially the X factor of your season for us. I made several videos talking about Kuzma needs to, is the X factor. He's the guy that if he steps up, and I actually said this weeks ago, months ago, that I wish Kuzma could be that third guy, like that, that Pascal Siakam, which after seeing Pascal Siakam in real life, like actually in a game, like from beginning to end, he's nowhere even close to Pascal Siakam. So that was me just talking without even knowing Pascal Siakam's game, right? So put that to the side. We still wanted Kuzma to be that number three guy, that consistent number three guy. Is he there? No. Do we panic right now because of this loss and look to trade Kuzma and package him right now just because of this loss? No. But does he have our attention in terms of him not being that third consistent guy? Of course. And what does that mean? Definitely could get traded come midseason if this continues. If he's a guy where you he's almost we're almost better with him off the floor, if it continues where guys continue to look Kuzma off where he's not even a threat. If it continues where he doesn't improve defensively, if it continues where his IQ level on the floor, both defensively and offensively, doesn't improve, could Kuzma possibly be packaged this midseason? Of course. It's not because of this loss. It's because of Kuzma's play. So I'm not, this loss has nothing to do with Kuzma. Overall, the team actually just didn't perform well in that third quarter. Had nothing to do with Kuzma, to be honest with you. But I'm still looking at Kuzma every single game and go, what can you give us? What are you doing this particular game to help out LeBron James and AD? Because out of everybody on our team, you're supposed to be that guy. So he's going to continue to be under the microscope, in my opinion. And uh, we need we need to, to, to see how that continues to progress overall we have to get better defensively as a team we have we've been getting kind of loosey-goosey with these teams and and um yes these teams were have been less like little weak where we can kind of like flip the switch and things like that but we're gonna have to tighten up that end of the floor going up against playoff teams as we've seen we couldn't turn the switch on dallas mavericks and we're not going to be able to turn the switch on a team like Denver Nuggets and going forward, you know, playing even Utah, playing against Portland, teams that can shoot, teams that have all-stars on their squad and um, have multiple all-stars. Yes, we're going to have to tighten up that end of the floor. Um, defensively, we just got to get tighter and we got to just get back into the flow of things. You know, um, we just can't rely too much on one-on-one -on -one AD. And LeBron, we're going to have to get back into a flow of things of them attacking, moving the ball, hitting threes and things like that. We didn't do any of that this game. And uh, we're definitely going to have to get much more out of Kyle Kuzma. Anyway, that's my thoughts for this game. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. As always, I know nobody feels like getting any gear, but check out the site, fanatics.com. Link in the description. Buy you a few things. Um, what else can I say? Follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, click on that little circle at the end of this video. I know my energy is low in this video. I hate losing, but you can't win them all. Anyway, holla at your boy. Follow me, comment, subscribe, like, post, all that stuff, share, do all that fun stuff. I'll hit you guys up in the next video. Peace.